Hey, good evening, everybody. Um, sorry that we're running a little bit late. We had a couple people get here just the last minute from the track meet, and we're glad they made it, and along with some music and some instruments. And so we finally got ourselves together here. Um, it's good to see you all. Uh, we have uh, had really a great year, and so I'm excited to have these guys playing for you. Um, uh, this is the last moment I'll be up here for a little while. I want to introduce our MC tonight, who is our newest school board trustee and uh, is the district that includes Harper and much of East Davis. Um, so I'm very excited to welcome to our stage uh, Trustee Elizabeth Moon. Thank you, everyone. Good evening, and I am so excited to be here tonight um, for this evening's concert. As Greg mentioned, my name is Elizabeth Moon, and I am the trustee for Area 4 and also a former band member when I was in elementary through high school, so I'm excited to be part of this evening's events. Today we are actually gathered for a historic first in the community of Davis. Um, never before has the Harper Junior High Music Program or any junior high level music program included a symphony orchestra as part of the curriculum and spring concert. So before we start, I wanted to let you know I did take a little peek back there um, into the warm-up room for our first group, our seventh grade intermediate band and orchestra, and it's clear that these students have had an incredible year and are excited to perform for you. These, these young musicians absolutely love music and being able to play together as we reflect upon their progress. It's good to remember that these seventh grade class took on the largest impact due to the pandemic. They lost half of their fourth grade year of in-person music education. Their fifth grade year, if they participated, was online. And according to Mr. Brooker, only a few of them participated during online learning. Most of the students started for the first time in sixth grade or after and a few played for only the first half of fourth grade. But these young musicians have done an amazing job this year developing into musical ensembles. Both groups at both of their festivals, the Golden Empire Music Festival and Music in the Parks, earned excellent ratings, scoring in the mid 80s. And to earn these scores at this point in their growth is an incredible feat and something that all of the musicians and you and all of us in this district should be really proud of. So let's get the show on the road and please join me in welcoming our seventh grade groups, the Intermediate Band, followed by the Intermediate Orchestra, led by concert master Liana Kim. And to close out this part of the concert, I'm excited to introduce the first ever Harper Junior High Prep Symphony, a beginning level journey into the world of symphonic performance. Thank you.
start, um, despite what the program says, we decided after we printed the programs to pull the fourth of the pieces. So we're excited to present two pieces from a composer named Ignatius Sancho, who you've probably never heard of before, um, and uh, a piece by Mozart. Ignatius Sancho is uh, story to have been born on a ship that was packed with uh, kidnapped and enslaved Africans. He was born on the ship. And at age two, he was um, brought into a house in England where he was raised and eventually became free um, and started writing music. And he's the earliest known English black composer, uh, lived a little bit earlier than Mozart did, and really wrote some beautiful music that's just now starting to get discovered. So these are two little pieces of his from a set of dances that he wrote uh, in, I believe, the 1780s.
actually a first here for us um, in the tw 19 years since Harper's, uh, well, since we've had Harper. Um, this has never happened before, and uh, I'm really excited about what we're about to do here tonight. Um, this is the first time, really, incidentally, the seventh graders get to debut this whole thing, even though the ninth graders are doing it later. But I'd like to introduce what I'm calling the Harper Junior High Prep Symphony. We'll be right back with you kids. are going to do as they continue to grow in our Davis music program. They have worked hard on these fundamentals of musicianship and performance, and their musical growth and development truly comes through very clearly. I am beyond impressed with your abilities, so thank you so much. Next up is our qu concert choir. These young vocalists have done an amazing job this year. This spring in their first festival performance with the Golden Empire, the choir earned an average of 80 and an excellent rating. A month later when they attended the music in the parks, they demonstrated 
great improvement, leading them to earn an even higher score of 90, landing them in the superior category. As Mr. Brucker mentioned to me, they received many compliments from judges for their development and cohesiveness as an ensemble, which is so important. They received accolades for their diction, vocal technique, and clarity of tone. So congratulations to the choir. We really are excited to hear them play tonight. I mean, sing, play, sing. You are playing with your voices. Um, <laughs> So before we begin, I'm also really proud to introduce Harper Junior High's accompanist. Emma Turnbull is a conservatory trained opera vocalist. Having studied at the Royal Conservatory of Scotland, her life of music making has led her to Davis, where currently she is the choir director for the Davis Community Church. She also plays as an accompanist for elementary sting strings teacher Lydia Cooley. We are so appreciative of Ms. Turnbull's time, effort, and the support of our young musicians. So without further ado, I'm proud to introduce our concert choir with accompanist Emma Turnbull.
Chan. You all sing like angels, and I surely can believe that your dreams will be found. Um, thank you so much for our accompanist, Miss Emma. Ms. Emma Turnbull, as well as our conductor, Mr. Bruker. We're gonna take a short intermission, uh, but before we take that quick little seven inning stretch, I want to acknowledge Eric Richardson, the Brunel Hall manager, and his crew, the Davis Media Access crew, led by Jeff Shaw, and our audio video technician, Tom Estes, who together have been creating a professional recording of our events for many years. As we were not able to host a live stream this evening, Mr. Brucker will be hosting the final produced concert video online once it's completed, so you can share this wonderful evening with your friends and family at home or not in this area. I want to acknowledge the Davis Schools Orchestral Music Association, the longtime orchestra boosters, for their tremendous work now supporting all of our ensembles and musicians at Harper and at nearly every site across the district. You can find them out in the lobby if you want to say hello. And looking forward to next year, I want to direct you to the last page of our program, which lists next year's public concert dates. The student musicians will once again have the honor and pleasure of performing at the Mandavi Center next spring, along with many other amazing opportunities. Time for your intermission, and I heard, of course, there are always some treats and drinks out in the lobby. We'll see you back here in a few minutes. developing their musicianship and ensemble skills to a high level. This year, both groups also participated in two festivals. The advanced band earned an excellent rating at Golden Empire, scoring in the 80s. Excuse me. <coughs> and unfortunately came across an overly tough judging situation at Music in the Parks. As Mr. Brucker earlier explained to me, it has happened a few times over the years to other groups and presents a great opportunity for learning how to take ownership of one's work, bounce back, and take it to the next level. Their energy and passion for playing comes out clearly through their performance. Following the advanced band is the advanced orchestra, which over the last 10 years, our advanced orchestra has been accepted through audition into the All-State Band and Orchestra Festival several times, earning a unanimous superior gold rating at almost every festival. And it is clear that this year's group is reaching that same high level of performance. This year, after earning low 90 scores and a superior rating at Golden Empire, they were named the best overall orchestra with a high score of 97 and the highest score given by the other judge a 92, again earning a superior rating at Music in the Parks. After recognizing Harper's ninth graders as they head off to high school next year, the concert will conclude with a very special presentation. I am so proud to present the first ever Harper Junior High Symphony Orchestra, 
This group is a combination of every member of the advanced band and orchestra. These students spent less than two hours rehearsing together on Monday night to prepare for today. All the rest of their work was done separately in classrooms. So to begin the second part of the evening, I'm very proud to introduce the advanced band who's already on stage and the advanced orchestra on the first ever Harper Junior High Symphony Orchestra, which will be led by concertmaster Laura Kay.
The music that we're doing with the strings right now is um, for, uh, as far as I know, Northern California, the debut of music that has not been played out here before. Um, as we've been slowly uncovering more composers of the past, composers of color and women who just have been left out of books, I'm really proud to introduce a composer who you've, another composer you've never heard of. His name is R. Nathaniel Dett, and I'll, I'll read the little note out of here for you just to learn about him. Art Nathaniel Dett was a Canadian-American black composer whose grandparents had been enslaved in, in the uh, antebellum South. Born in Niagara Falls, Ontario, he moved with his family to New York side. He was a graduate of the Oberlin Conservatory, which if you haven't heard of it before, is one of the great ones, and the Eastman School of Music, another phenomenal conservatory back east. He studied in Paris with the legendary Nadia Boulanger, and if you haven't heard of her, she is one of the most important women in music history, um, important composers, violin teachers, composition teachers from the late 1800s, early 1900s in France. 
Um, in addition to a long and varied career as a college professor and choral conductor, he composed several major choral works and a significant body of piano music that was widely performed during his lifetime. Um, Cave of the Winds was one of his first public, published works, an energetic march originally composed for piano. The music commemorates a natural cave behind Vi Bridal Veil Falls at Niagara Falls, where the composer grew up. The cave had been discovered in 19, or 1834, and walking tours of the cave were popular around the turn of the century. Sadly, it says, as it says here, it was destroyed in a massive rock fall in 1954. So this piece is uh, dedicated and written for that, um, that falls. So, this is Cave the Winds. by Joseph Ballone, um, a little earlier known more as St. George, but we should get used to his actual name, which is Joseph Ballone. Well, his given name by his father, uh, Joseph Ballone. Um, the uh, first movement we've heard before, we, we played it before, we played it earlier in the year, um, but this is the uh, debut of the second and third movement for us out here. And um, it's uh, really great that this music is, again, finally getting published to where I don't have to do the arrangements myself anymore. 
So, uh, this is uh, the three movement full symphony, and um, here we go.
finish off with our kind of grand finale here. This is a, uh, you know, bittersweet time of year, and especially for these ninth graders who really, because of the pandemic, had one of their junior high years robbed away from them. And I mean, we all remember how not so great it was when we were all online there, trying to go through it. And since then, it's been a lot to relearn how to school in a lot of ways. And it's completely understandable. We took off all the guardrails for a year and, you know, it, trying to get back into the swing of all this over the last couple years has been a lot for everybody. Uh, you know, parents, especially us too, right? Um, you guys, uh, it's, it's a lot to keep this all going. And so, you know, I want to offer my praise not just to our ninth graders here, but to all of these musicians who are the ones that made it through performance and are still playing. The, the pandemic really did a lot of, uh, we'll say it had a very large impact on the number of people playing. Many of the seventh graders weren't playing that year. And um, some of these guys, you know, this, these ninth graders here, you know, they were online with us in seventh grade, but I mean, you know, that's, that was tough to wanna do it. It was a tough time for many, many reasons. So this, you know, this ninth grade group in particular, as all of them across the board here between the choir, the, the band, and the orchestra have done so, such amazing work trying to come back from that to create music again. We all missed it so much. It's really important to make sure that we acknowledge all of these students for the fact that they're here, they're doing it, and um, I mean, I'm very, very much always amazed with how well they can do. So let's give all of these students a big, big hand right now. Before I do uh, acknowledgement of our ninth graders here, which is a, a yearly tradition that I'm very happy to continue, um, well, there's a lot of people who are owed a lot of thanks for the season and for this year. This year was a particularly tricky one and tough one for a whole multitude of reasons. And I will tell you that I received nothing but support from our community here. And I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. It's been an amazing year coming back from all this and you know, for me starting up doing some things that I haven't done in the 20 years I've been teaching here. And I'm really, really proud of all these kids for their ability to adjust and really make things happen. But behind the scenes there are a lot of people who do a lot of work that you don't always see or maybe you catch a glimpse of them in the lobby out there. And so first of all, um, the folks that run this hall do an amazing job trying to make this all work. We had quite a complicated setup here today and they're just phenomenal. Eric Richardson, I don't think he's here now, but we have Eli who's running the boards and I don't think I actually know the other young man's name out of there. But there's these two wonderful people running everything from the backstage, so thank you guys very much. Secondly, we have for a long, long time um, recorded these events professionally with a wonderful audio technician and the folks at Davis Media Access who do this all for free because they love it and they care about us. And so um, I want to give a huge, huge thanks to Tom Estes who's down here in front monitoring audio and Jeff Shaw and his whole video crew who's up above there doing their work. that we weren't able to live stream tonight because the, uh, basically they decided that you know, the pandemic was a little looser. We have to get specific permissions from all of the publishers to be able to put stuff online live. So we don't have that. So um, all that said, we're recording it and as soon as all that's ready, I'll put it up online for us and for all of you to share with family and friends. Um, as well, I want to give a big, big thank you to our booster club, DSOMA, who has been around since 2004 and has been a mainstay in this community in so many ways. And this year, as, we, as our department changed and we moved things around, has, because they care and want to, took on support of events and schools and teachers and classes at every junior high and at all of the elementaries. Um, led by Chris Darwin and Marissa Limi, who are the president and vice president. We have many other board members around in the room here. Let's give them all a big, big thank you for everything they do for all of us. Um, 
next, you might have noticed a, a few folks on stage that were um, a, a touch older than the kids. And I want to, um, I haven't introduced them yet, and I, did, I didn't put it in the notes, so I, I wanted to um, make sure and give them my own personal thanks for doing this. One of the tricks with having a smaller band of only about 25 kids, the instrumentation is tricky. You need a good 30, 40, 50 kids to make a really solid concert band work. And so we don't have, we didn't have French horns this year. We had, you know, D'Angelo converted to tuba. We're very proud of the guy, he's done wonderful. Um, and so I do want to acknowledge two of our teachers in the district here and uh, a parent as well of teacher. But first of all, we have um, Julie Bastolfo, who has, was, as, was our teacher this year at Montgomery. She's phenomenal, and thank you so much. And as well, we have her father playing with us, Mr. Mark Stevens on the horn over there. And finally, he didn't know I was gonna do this because this is, I think, officially the very last concert in Davis that we're ever gonna get to see this guy. Um, we are brokenhearted to know that we are losing one of the great institutions of the Davis schools. And for 20 years, this guy has done an amazing job at Holmes, teaching bands and this year running the choir. And I mean, we're all really heartbroken we're losing this guy. And so very, very happily and proudly, he agreed to sit in on trumpet even though, or I'm sorry, on tuba, even though he's a trumpet player, and help us out. And so I'd like to give a huge, uh, one more thing. 20 years ago when Harper opened, he was one of our first band teachers. And he took, was there for two years helping get things going and then you know, we brought other people in. And this last year is a way to help kind of fill the gap year. He taught the bands last year back at Harper. And so he's, he's one of our, our Harper, very own Harper people who goes back to the beginning of the site. Um, and so I wanna give a special praise and thank you to Clyde Quick, who's just been amazing for this whole district. such an amazing force in this district and has done so much work for the betterment of our, our general population, our students. And in this year, as we've uh, switched things around to this, it was just an incredible support for me in, in uh, working on all the stuff we did together. So I can't personally thank you enough, but um, I, you know, this whole community owes you a huge debt of gratitude for everything you've done for all of us. So one more time for Clyde Quick. <laughs> Okay, there's probably other people I forgot, and so I'm hoping, oh, well, we'll do that at the end. We'll do that at the end. Um, uh, I'm, let's, let's acknowledge our ninth graders and get this concert going. We got a little bit more music for you. So first of all, we have down here in the choir, and I think that a few of them are still here. I know a couple people had to, to leave because there's many other events going on right now. Our ninth graders, Will you stand up? What I'm going to do is call your name if you're still here. Hi. And um, we're, going to, we're going to go through everybody first, and then we'll give one big applause at the end of it all. So hang on to your applause. I believe you had to go already to another event tonight, but Trent Alexander. Um, and I believe sitting down here is Evan Braun. Are you still here? And then we have Haley Kim. And finally, unfortunately she wasn't able to make it at the very last minute due to a family emergency, but Karen Smith. All right, in the band, in the band, stand up as I call you. We got Nico. And we've got Junior. And we got D'Angelo back there, there he is. And we've got Carson. We got Dominic, 
David. Got Isabella. And Jace. And unfortunately, our whole flute section is not here tonight. And that is Calvin and Luna, who are not here. But let's give them a big hand. As well, we have Gideon. Um, another un, uh, last minute, unfortunately, couldn't be here due to a family need. We have Christian. And then we also have Subhan. And we have Jonah. We have Daniela. There you are. And Hunter. And in the orchestra over here, we have a list again. We have Katie in the viola. We have Ida and Isaac. We have Elena and Caitlin and Jasmine and Henry and Inkyung, uh, right there. And Kristen, Leho. And we have Mehar and Suhela. We have Leah and Cameron and and we have Josh. And I want to give Josh a thanks. He's been sitting in with us as a TA in the Intermediate Orchestra and joined them for the second semester. So thank you for that. We got Isabel. We got Melania. We have Celeste, who just started on the cello this year and did fantastic. And we have Gianna. And we have Tony. And we have Jacob. We have Aiden. And last but most definitely not least, we have Adam. All right, I think I got it. Did I get everybody? I think I got everybody. I brought the list this time so that I didn't forget somebody because it usually happens. Did I get everybody? No, I said Jacob. He's right there. <laughs> it's Jacob over there. Okay. All right, so um, we're gonna move on back to music here. We got about just about 15 minute more music. Um, I'm very very proud to to do this. This was not possible in history before, because all of us in doing different disciplines just didn't have the ability to create things together, which it, this, those barriers are broken as we switch positions this year a bit. And so I'm very, very proud to present um, something I think is just a true joy to be able to, to do this year. Um, our first ever really amazing level of symphony orchestra at Harper Junior High. Um, on top of their regular music that they've done for their individual groups, we took on two pieces this year, including one, Finlandia, which I, I you know, measured it up against the original parts, and there's only a few seconds that doesn't exist in our arrangement, and the music isn't quite as hard, it's a slight bit easier, but it's one of the closest arrangements to the professional piece that, that we have around here. And um, I'm really, really excited to be able to do this for you and have them be able to perform this together in what is a real first and another historic moment for Harper Junior High. One last note before we do it, I want to acknowledge one of our clarinets on very short notice. Um, he, was, he learned and worked on the flute parts so that we could cover the part because there's a bunch of melody the flutes have that nobody else has. And so I want to acknowledge Justin Inoue. Of the many amazing musicians we have, he stepped up and took this really difficult task on of taking on almost a whole new part for the concert today um, to help us fill the, all the harmonies out and make it work. So thank you, Justin. So, with no further ado, here's the Harper Junior High Symphony Orchestra.
So that was such an incredible evening and such an incredible performance by our advanced group here. Thank you. Let's give them another round of applause. in our district, and most especially Mr. Brooker, and these incredible young people that he has shepherded this year and really helped to develop and create a foundation for music and performance and just joy in bringing that all together. And of course, none of this would be possible without all the community members, parents, families, everyone around us, the, the SOMA and everyone to make this happen. For kids. So a round of applause for our parents and family. So as we head into the end of the school year, please enjoy an incredibly rejuvenating, refreshing summer. And I look forward to seeing all of you young musicians here on the stage next year. Except for the ninth graders. I'll see you when the others. Before we go, I want to give one more big special thanks here to our wonderful MC for the night. And this is always a treat to have our board members give their time and come out and join us for these events. So um, let's give a big, big special thank you here to Elizabeth Moon. And one more time, musicians, everybody, stand on up. Congratulations, everybody. Happy end of season. Down 